Good evening everybody and welcome along once again to One Hub Racing at season number 13. We're here for round 7 at the Austrian Grand Prix. It is of course the prestige tier and it's title decider day. It's a day we all love. Blizzard, if he outscores Rafa by 7 points, uh, he will become the season 13 prestige tier champion. On the last, well, the penultimate round of the prestige tier season. Of course we're heading into the last round on this game next week but we've got a title battle to figure out and see if it's going to go to the next round so we're here in austria of course and joining me on the commentary box this week is of course jess jess you're very welcome um, we always like a title uh, we always like a title decider don't we yes we do and uh rafa and blizzard was so amazing to watch all this season with blizzard did not take the title last season with june of course judy is not here this season so uh he was, he was expected to uh, have a clean slate, but he's had Rafa really challenging in the season. And Rafa has done absolutely well in his first season here in uh, One Hub Racing to... Actually, no, a few seasons in One Hub Racing, that, and that he's challenged for the title, which is great to see the improvements. So, good luck to both of these guys um, for, for this race. And it should be a close qualifying session. Yep. <clears throat> so, of course, we've only two rounds left of the season. Gap at the top is 18 points, so that leaves us with um, we'll, we'll, whoever is in the lead of the championship needs to be. Oh my God, Lewis is dead already! Oh God, how the hell has that happened? Ah, uh, that's the weirdest crash I've seen on F1 2018, and that's saying something. Me too. Um, so that didn't help Betty at all with just, his lap. So. He just got rear-ended by Lewis. Um. Okay, so Lewis is dead and he's gonna be starting at the back of the grid. So he was on the ultras as well. I've can I've never seen that in my life. Anyway, so Blizzard there wow. is. Uh, we have to say, of course, uh, congratulations to Red Bull. They have won the constructors. So Red Bull are constructors champions for season 13, but we still have the drivers' title to figure out. It's between, of course, Rafa and Blizzard. 18 points between those guys, and what, what a better place to do it than Austria with such a short lap. And we're going to see some incredibly close times and hopefully some incredibly close racing because half of the track is DRS. So hopefully we should see some overtaking. Yeah, if you watched the uh, last race, we saw some incredible battles where the top uh, three and also JTEX as well was joining in the, the fight as well. So if last race is anything to go by, I'm sure this is going to be absolutely amazing as well with uh blizzard doing usually tradition blizzard does very well at this track so should be exciting as uh usually miss usually mercedes do quite well on this uh track but red bull won the last top time in real life in 2018 so hopefully maybe red bull can replicate that tonight with blizzard we'll have to wait and see let's wait and find out so Currently, it's Amir on top of a 103.60, uh, the key to third, of course, off the back of his uh, fantastic result in Belgium. Josh is dead already. Um, I don't know what's going on. Well, the, back, the, the back row was decided. That's in the last two corners, I think. That's when I was on board with him. But um, it, So our last row is going to be Lewis and Josh. So if we have some certainty at last. Anyway, Rafa, he's coming through the last couple of sectors here he's going through this long left hander which is tricky enough to get right and careful not to run out too wide because it will penalize you and then coming up towards the last two corners you've got to be so committed right here you've got to pretty much got to turn them into one corner you'll watch Rafa he'll be very committed here sending it through on the power as early as possible into the last corner now where is this going to put him it's going to be right up there it's going to be pole, 103.479, so he's currently on provisional pole position. That's exactly what he needs to do, but of course his title rival is about to respond and about to go on to a lap around Spielberg. Um, let's see how he gets all this run up towards turn one then, down to fourth gear. Of course, Jess, this track is notorious for track limits, isn't it? Yeah, I've seen quite a few people, I think, getting penalties, in particular in the pinnacle tier, as we were watching before the before this stream was opening. And uh, it the race was kind of interesting. It was started off dry, and then it went to inters. But we don't know what the weather's going to be like here. But obviously, with the two stops, it makes it even more interesting. Is uh, there's lots of DRS straights and 
a chance for pretty much anything to go wrong. If there's something to go wrong, it's probably going to be one of the driver's favourite tracks, which is here, and one of the shortest tracks as well. Oh, who's died? That's Rafa, who's uh, parked it on the side of the circuit. That probably didn't help Blizzard at all, but hopefully that didn't compromise him in any way. As Blizzard comes towards the last few corners, he's going towards turn 9 and 10. Goes across the line. Can he beat Rafa's time? One hundred three point two. Wow, that I, is a good lap from Blizzard. I watched him through those last two corners. He didn't even lift through those last two corners. What? I just heard. I, I just heard him with the. Well, obviously he lifted a little bit, but it just sounded like he didn't. He just kept the thing revving to high heaven through those last two corners, and that, I think it's where he gained those two tenths by just being so committed through those last two corners. But Blizzard one hundred three point two six four. His title rival Rafa alongside him currently on a 103.47 and Amir in the Williams on a 103.6 behind. So everything kind of close here. Samster just pops into P5 as I say that on a 103.81. Uh, that's waiting for anybody else to do it. Obviously we're waiting for Jake at Taxi. We know he's quick in qualifying. It looks like he's backed out of his lap. How's Leon getting on? Yep. He's about to begin his lap so we'll We'll keep an eye on how he gets on. But, um, yeah, it's n not quite as close as I thought it would be, but at the end of the game, no. we're only about eight minutes into qualifying, and usually things start getting a little bit heated uh, come the last five minutes. So, settle in. We could be in for a good fight, yet. Yeah. yeah, usually in these types of qualifiers in Austria, it doesn't really start properly to about two or three minutes, so they are getting their bank laps in now. But with Vance being too up, they can push the Ultras a lot more than they did last season. So that, yeah. that is why they're going to try and go out as much as possible. Uh, it doesn't matter if they don't get a good lap in right away because it is a long qualifying session. As Amir, his first race was last week, I believe. He did well in qualifying, but the race, I believe, there was a fortunate incident in the race that costed him. So he could be a dark horse in this race. We'll see as well. Yeah, no, I think that's for that yellow flag is for the slow car of either Ollie or Betty. It's Betty who's off into yeah, it's Betty. God knows where. Um. Anyways, yeah, Amir, I haven't yet seen him race, so I'm interested to see how he gets on. Um, Samster, of course, he he got he he qualified very well in Belgium, but I think wasn't he the one who died at the top of Eau Rouge? Yes, it was. He, yeah. So anyway, like he <laughs> last time I saw him, he was over the moon with the podium. Right now he's in the gravel, so um, not too bad. But anyway, uh, Lakitu, yeah, it, obviously best result of in one hub was in Belgium. It was good to see him up on the podium. Yeah. And uh, so a lot of drivers improving on their, on their best finishes. Now, what about Wayne? Is he on a lap? He ap appears to be, but I think he sh can't really tell. I think, I think he's going quite slowly. So, yep, he is. Yeah. He won't be on a lap yet. Let's just stick on the telemetry. Now, let's have Lee. Now, Lee, I know he's quick around here, so let's see what he can do coming through the last sector. Appears to be pushing. Coming through the last couple of corners and into the left before we come into the, the little S section here. You can just see his last teammate up ahead of Jacotex, who's about to unleash on a lap here. Coming down towards the last two corners. It's all about how committed you can be to these last two. Nicely done from Lee. Got to be careful not to cut the corners or run wide or anything like that. Nails it. Inch perfect. Let's see how Lee gets on. He comes across the line. And he improves slightly, Ooh. but doesn't improve his position. So he's two hundredths of a second off of Amir. So not too bad. Not too bad at all. But if it's yep. not, the top eight are in the 103s, so a lot more people in the 103s than we thought at this stage. But that shows how competitive this tier really is. Now the question I'm going to be asking is, can anyone break into the 102s? Um, and, if there, if and if there's anybody I'm going to pip for that, it's Blizzard. I think he did it last season. So I'm going to yeah, I'm, I'm gonna pip him to do it again. I think he did a 102.8 last, last season. We just I will have a look it. at that actually. I'm not, I'm not too sure, but I'm see. fairly certain he went into the 102s. Unless I'm. Well, it might be in another league, but I know Possibly, he, he did yeah. go get 102s at some point in Austria, but yeah, I, just... I will check anyway. Yeah, 
so he, he did finish a lap there, but I believe it was invalidated. It's all about Rafa then. Come to the last two corners, can he pip Blizzard to pole position? He's run out a bit wide there, he might be invalidated, he comes across the line. Yeah, that was invalidated for, for Rafa yeah. there, ran too wide out of the last two corners. I just noticed Jake Tex, by the way, did his lap on the super softs and he got, popped into fifth on a 103.778. So, really good effort there. If he can get himself started on the super softs, he'll be in good shape at the start. Or later on in the race, we be able to go a little bit longer and try and make a different strategy work. Anybody else now? Um, I'm just seeing Wayne could be. Yeah, Wayne's going. No, he's not on a fast lap. I think he's about to start one, though. Because so, he's on his. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, he's... I think Olems has a quali ban. Possibly. Yes, he does. Yeah. Because just... he was going to serve it last week, but he wasn't here last week. So, so we have to serve it, it in the next race he attends. Yeah. Yeah. And um, for those of you who are wondering why he has a quali ban, um. Oh God! <laughs> that I'm last not even lap in go Belgium it. explains it. Just saying that now. I'm not going to say anything more. If you want to know what happened, just rewatch the race. Just not watch. No, don't, no, don't even watch the. Okay, obviously, watch the race, but pay particular attention to the last lap, and you'll understand. Um, it's it 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 it, it was really funny at the time. Um, anyway, Samster in the Ferrari about to finish his lap. Let's see what he can do. Coming through the last two corners. Let's see if he can up his position while he goes into the pit lane, just nope. to say that. Now, Samu and Wayne, the only ones who haven't set lap times yet. Now, Wayne is about to start one, and Samu, I believe, is on one. So, so, um, yeah, I think, yeah. Uh, he's just about to go on one. He's got low ERS, so he might have had he's in bad day lap time. Yeah, he's backed out. And uh, one thing to watch out for Samu, actually, he was the first victim of the disqualification due to him ha only making one stop last week. So hopefully he remembers this time, because I think he seemed to have forgotten last week. So hopefully he doesn't fall victim to that this week, because he comes across, yeah, that's probably, yeah, that's invalidated. So he hasn't settled up yet, and neither. I think he's the only one that is in the bottom who is meant to settle up that hasn't settled up yet. So he needs to get a move on. Four minutes, 20 to go. Yep, Wayne kind of went across the line there. He wasn't really a lap time, but he is on one now. So his teammate's currently second. Let's see what he can do. If he can get himself even into the top five, would be a good result for Renault. So here he comes into the right-hander and towards the last corner. A little bit wide, I think, on the entry to the first part there, and he's back there. He's invalidated it. For sure, he's oh. invalidated that one. So Yeah, but he has. Yeah, he's... He's, he's, he's always going... slowing down to the line. He's he's got to um, he's got a he's got a high tail at round of the pit lane now. There's not a lot of time left. So anyway, no. Onyx has retired. Is he running on, out of fuel? I think he may be running on low fuel. Yes, possibly. Anyway, that's why probably why he's slowing as well. Now we come into the really interesting part of qualifying. Last three minutes. This is where things mm. get 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 spicy. Amir is on to, well, I thought he was on to a lap, but he's actually backed out of his first attempt. Jagatex has come back out on a set of super, uh, ultra soft tyres, sorry. So he's, he's definitely going to be going quicker than that. Now, I was told that there's about a half a second deficit between the super softs and the ultra softs. So judging off that, Jagatex could be challenging for pole if Blizzard doesn't improve. So we'll see how mm. that goes. Ollie, by the way, has popped into P6. He's a thousandth of a second behind Jacob X. That's how close what? it is there. One is 103.778, So, fine margins here. Fine close margins. I think the only one that's not close at the moment is Rain, but you'll need to get out pretty soonish to get up in, because he'll probably want to help his teammate to try and uh, get this to the final race. Yeah. And uh, all three of the tiers tonight have uh, have had no champion ground yet. They're waiting till the final race as well. So we'll just have to wait and see tonight if that happens in the prestige tier or will Blizzard take it? It's looking like Blizzard's favourite for now, but 
Whoa! Well, I told you, I've, I was spot on with the half a second. I'm proud of myself you there. You are right. One, one you zero are three, right. One zero three point two zero nine. You go six hundredths of a second quicker than Blizzard. Let's see if Blizzard can respond to that one. Now he's got to pull one out of the bag. Yeah, so. he has. If is is his pole time he got last season was nowhere near the pole, the time he produced already, and it is starting to get a bit darker as well. So he needs to get one pretty fast. But I think he should have time to get two laps in. Well, yeah, the flag is set to three. I'm pretty much going to ignore that unless someone's going to set. No, they're not. As I'm just seeing who else could be. Everyone's pretty much going out now apart from Wayne. He's currently in the pits now. I doubt he's going to make it in time. Well, but he could be playing the long game. Here comes your dark horse then. Coming up to the line. Amir goes third fastest who pips the key to. Who was just momentarily in P3. He managed to get in front of Rafa again by one single thousandth of a second. 103.478, 103.479. I don't know what it is about these guys today. They just seem to want to get really close to one another. Yep, that Blizzard. is the siege tier for you in a nutshell. He comes across the line and he goes a 103.19. He goes a hundredth of a second quicker than Jacob Tex, but it's way closer. And he's going than out I again thought. as well. Oh no, he's not. No, nope, that's that's going to be that's going to be his last attempt. That's the last chance and he has. Tex Lee. Is in the pits. Lee's in P3. Raf has gone to P3 now. 103.27. That is so close. In the top three. And wow. Rafa's slowing, he's not improving. Amir's in the gravel in turn five, four, I don't know what turn it is. The key two, is he on one? No, nope, he's not. Yep, I so think Blizzard's the only one that's on a lap is Ollie. Yep, so Blizzard currently on pole, unless not Ollie's backed out of it. So I think it's Wayne actually is the only one on the lap right now. Um, oh, on Wayne, Softs. I think, just made it then. Yeah, he just about made it across the line, and I think his teammate might give him a little helping hand here. Well, no, never mind. He did. <laughs> Not quite. Oh, it looked like it, but it didn't. Yeah. I thought it was good. I think Wayne was going to help Rafa, but then he realised Rafa retired. That's probably why. So Blizzard's done what he needs to do. He's put it on pole on a one zero three point one nine three. Jagatex has split has split between. Uh, himself and Rafa, so if Blizzard were to finish where he is right now, he'd be champion. But, so, unless Rafa could do some wins and validate it. Rained out. So, yeah, that's it. Blizzard is your pole man. Not by much, though. There's about seven, well, about eight hundredths of a second between the top three. So, um, not bad at all there. Blizzard by a hundredth over Jagatex, and Jagatex was seven hundredths clear. Of Rafa, which means leaves at an eight hundredth of a second gap at the top, but um, very close across everybody. Everybody in the top ten on one zero threes. So that shows you how competitive it is. I wonder where Lewis would have been if he hadn't rammed Die. the back of um, Betty. I think it was. Uh, it, interesting it was crash. Betty. That's what I saw. Well, let's have your confirmation of results then. Blizzard on pole by a hundredth of a second over Jake attacks. Rafa is P3, Lee is P4, Amir P5, Likitu P6, Ollie P7, Betty P8, Samster P9, and Leon in P10. Onyx, Wayne, Josh, who also retired, Odems, Lewis, and Samu are going to be your grid for today. And I've just noticed Betty's got a five, sec five position penalty? Grid penalty? I didn't see that pop up on my screen. Yeah, plus five positions. That might be before um, the stream. That no, I think actually no, nope. and that's that's my own fault. I didn't point it out. He got a penalty because Lewis rammed him. Ah. I know what I said there. He got a penalty because Lewis rammed him. <laughs> <laughs> right. Anyways, um, looking pretty pretty murky out there. I must say, not looking totally clear. I know. No. It, uh, it rained in nickel tier. Towards the end. Yeah. Could we see a similar situation here? It's, it look, I do see a lot of blue in the sky, though, more than, you know, but it was similar to what Pinnacle was like. So, anything can happen in F1 2018. It's penultimate round. They will be racing again next Friday on release day on the final 2018 game anyway. So, yep, most yeah. of these guys, they've got to give it all. And Raph has really got to have a race for his life today if he wants to keep this championship fight alive. He's got, he's got to beat Blizzard at Blizzard's best track. 
So this is going to be a tall order. Of course, the last round yeah. is going to be Silverstone next week. So Championship Battle could go to there. But Raph has got to beat Blizzard today. So here, so uh, let's get ready for the formation lap then. Let's have a look if anybody else outside the top 10 is going for any strategies. Yeah, um, you can see Betty has been dropped to P13. So that has put Onyx into P10, just behind his teammate, and he is on a set of super softs as well. So that could he had free him. choice of tyres as he well. Had free choice, Onyx yeah. did. So whereas Betty didn't, I don't so, think. Yeah, Betty did not because he started inside the top ten. So uh, everybody wishing Rafa the best of luck because look at the man he's got to go up against. He's got to go up against VSR Blizzard, the the best of the best, pretty much uh, on PS4 and. Blizzard fighting for the title in Prestige here. He was fighting for it last year, but not to the same extent because Julian just kept just kept being consistent. And the thing that I think screwed Blizzard over last year or last season was his penalties and uh, that sort of thing. But he's been consistent as hell this year. So let's see if he can keep that up. And all he needs to do today is win, and he will be the champion. But he's also got to keep himself out of incidents, which is another thing altogether. But he's got to get the step. Yeah. Jegtex is a fast starter, so he's got to watch out for him. Rafa as well, going to be, he, he knows what he needs to do and he's going to be focused. So he's got to lead behind him. Uh, Amir, then Lakitu, Ollie, Samster, Leon and Onyx. And then Wayne just outside the top 10. Josh and P12. You've got to watch out for all these guys down here, by the way. Josh, uh, Odems, Lewis. These guys are going to be charging through the field. This could, so these guys could really, really are in the works for the top guys later on because they're all on super soft tires. But we will wait and see what happens. Blizzard lines up in pole position. Facing towards turn one. And he's already got to be thinking about closing the door on Jekatex. <clears throat> Here we go then. Round seven of the one hub racing prestige tier is about to get underway. Is Blizzard going to win the title today? We're about to find out. Five red lights. Lights out and away we go. Good start Blizzard. Good start Jekatex. Good start Rafa. All even off the first two rows then. Jekatex holds on to P2 as they come through turn one looking like they're all clean through. Keeping an eye on things behind. Couple of drivers running out wide. Betty's out wide and oh there's a car oh, dead. Dead. The Josh and Wayne are dead. Odems is dead. They've all died in turn one. And just keeping an eye. Oh, Lee tried to dive bomb on Rafa. There's a pile up in turn two. Oh, no. Oh, no. Onyx, he's through to P5. It's a masterclass from the Dutchman. Lewis is P6. What on earth has happened in in turn two? They, Samu got turned around, I think, and he's ended up parallel to the entire field. Half of the field's got broken wings, and Onyx has come through to P5 out of absolutely nowhere. Lewis from the back of the grid to P6. These guys are going to play. My, what just happened? I mean, I was just, I was just hoping they would make it clean into turn one, and then suddenly I just saw a Renault go into the wall, and then I saw more people collided. This is, this is just turned the race on its head, and Lewis, Lewis no. up into six now. Yeah. Um, let's just check your biggest movers. It's going to be clearly obvious who it is. Lewis up nine positions on one lap, to P six. Onyx up five. Samu from the very back is in P8, P9 now, sorry, and Leon's up to P8 as well, Samster's up a couple of positions as well, but wow, so the super soft guys are 5th and 6th, they're gonna, they're gonna really play a part now, but we've got to keep an eye on the lead battle, because Jagatex is looking threatening for this race, he's all over the back of Blizzard, and of course this is going to be crucial, a really crucial move, if he makes it, Blizzard's got to control his race. He's got to stay out in front. So we'll keep an eye on proceedings. But, um, wow. Um, crazy start. And Lewis and Onyx kept their noses clean and kept themselves out of trouble. They're now fifth and sixth. And Lewis looking kind of threatening to get past Onyx now. And he is definitely going to be a threat later on because Lee has fallen away to 2.4 behind. Not sure what happened to him, but he has dropped back. Yep, so that's allowed Onyx and Lewis, the the stars so far this race, to avoid that carnage already. As Lewis almost made a bit of a mistake there going into 
starting the uphill, going to turn two now as Onyx is still catching to Lee as well. This could be three wide as Lewis Chop stays battled it. Onyx tries to go around the outside of Lee and he's done it, I think. Yes, Go he has. Abreast. And Lewis is going to get past Lee as well, potentially. Yeah, he's about, he's, he's about to get Onyx too. India. Goes down wow. the inside and takes P4. So Lewis is on the charge. And let's see if he can catch up to the guys up front. Three and a half seconds is the gap. And so Lewis now P4. Onyx is up to P5. Sam's trying to make his way back through as well. These guys down the back have really had a poor poor run of luck, and unfortunately, that's where they have ended up. But Jake Tech's kind of falling away. Blizzard is going so defensive down the main straight, breaking the DRS immediately out of the last corner. Because the DRS is extremely effective around Austria, so he knows he needs to defend as much as he possibly can. Jake Tech is being been patient, he's saving his ERS. And what I need to keep as well as well is Onyx versus Lewis, which is still raging on. Onyx trying to come up the inside of turn three. He's going to do him on the brakes. So I think locks up, goes straight on. Lewis will get the cutback. Onyx is going to be run out wide, and of course he's going to lose that position. And he may lose position to Lee as well. He'll have DRS. So here comes Lee now to try and see if he can take back P5 away from Onyx. Does he go for the move? He doesn't. Stays back. So Onyx not quite able to make that move on the brakes at that time. But Samster's now got himself involved in this train which is going to be an interesting watch, but the top oh, three... Oh, look at this! Yeah, Lee, Samster! Lee is trying to defend on Samster. He gets it done very nicely done from Samster up into P6, and he could challenge Onyx for P5 if he starts to push. It's raining. He's on those ultras, but it will start to die soon, so... It's, it's raining. Oh. It's raining. Okay. It is most certainly raining, and Jake at Texas coming for Blizzard. Here we go. Is he going to be able to make the move this time? If, he, if it's raining, he knows he needs to make the move now. So here comes Jacotex for the lead of this race. Does he go for the move? Yes, he does. He thinks about it. Not quite going to be able to get it on the brakes. He's going to wait for the next straight. Try and get the exit. Blizzard just about... Does he get the exit? Yes, he does. Can he have a pop at the turn four? Let's have a look. Blizzard defends to the inside. Jacotex looking for the outside line. Goes late on the brakes. Blizzard defends the middle of the road. Now Jacotex with the cutback. Blizzard defended that beautifully, so he stays in P1, but it is very much raining here in Austria, and this is going to shake things up. It rained in the last race, but it rained towards the end, whereas this time it's mm. rained pretty much halfway, so... It's, it reminds it's me of Belgium. Question. Yes. Oh, and Odems, Odems is out. dead. Odems is dead. Um, Odems, what have you done? What have you done? I didn't see what happened to Odems, unfortunately, because I was on board with the battle with the lead, which is still going. And the people on the ultras are going to have the most benefit. Lee because... in. Leon's and out. Leon's out. What's uh, happened what to happened Leon? There? Oh, dear. Oh, oh, oh dear, dear God. That was... Back to the lead. Back to the lead. Is Jagatex going to go for it? This time he is. He's on the inside line for turn three. He makes the move this time. Blizzard will try and get the cutback, but Jagatex manages to get it on the brakes. And that right there, if it stays as the way it is, is the championship going to go to Brazil. But Blizzard's going to come back at Jagatex. He's going to go on the brakes. No, he's not going to try anything stupid, but he's got Rafa for company now, his championship rival. Now, Lee has gone on to super soft tires. And... But yeah, this, Ooh, this of course, okay. if, it, if it rains enough, this is going to benefit... The um, super soft runners the most. As I saw Blizzard go wide there, almost gave the opportunity to Rafa to come through. And R Rafa can smell blood, I think. Yeah. So. He's looking for Blizzard to make a mistake or force Blizzard to uh, make a mistake as well. Blizzard was hoping it for it to be sunny because he usually does well when it's dry, but the conditions are a lot harder to deal with. So he's, he's got off his game because Rafa is catching. And... Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Of course, um, Blizzard will also now have the benefit of DRS on Jacotex. So Rafa is going gonna, is gonna to struggle to get past now. So we'll wait and see. But Rafa does seem like he has a little bit of pace. But it's so close. These top three have been inseparable for the, for the, for, for the first seven laps. And this is really shaping up to be a classic. Because Lewis is sitting about 3.7 seconds behind after starting from the back of the group. He's lurking. I need to pick up any any pieces. Uh, Betty is the first 
to pick up a penalty. I haven't seen any penalties for the top three yet. I hope I don't jinx that. But that could be the deciding factor because they're so close together. It could drop them a, a, a good few positions. Because if Lewis gets in within that three second barrier, then he's going to benefit hugely from this. As these top three continue to battle. Who's going to be the first to make a pit stop? Because these ultra stops will not last much longer. No. And it is starting to, the rain is starting to come down as well because I think they're just waiting for the best time to go on the Inters. No one has made the jump yet, even in the bottom half to go on this Ev Inters yet. And I don't think it's raining enough for it to go on to Intermediate. So uh, it's going to be tight and uh, Rafa's dropping away from Blizzard and Jake Tex at the moment, but he's gained a lot of speed just there heading oh. towards Turn 3. So Benny was around in Sector 3. they everywhere. Yeah. Um, I, think, I think these guys are just going to stick behind each other for this next little while. Because Rafa is kind of saving his ERS. Uh, he's not using up a lot of it. Blizzard is also just kind of toying with Jagatex at the moment. He saved up a lot of ERS to use. He's almost got full ERS. Betty's now oh, out. Betty's out. It's a lot of retirements in the first... Uh, quarter of this race um, and it had to be rain that probably might have caused that yep but is anyone going to the pits no no nope, jake the... and blizzard staying out so is yeah, blizzard, blizzard's gonna make this move now for sure jake tex is holding him up you can tell he's got more pace in these changeable conditions he's gonna go for the move into turn one nope he's already backed out of that one so he's going to line up the move into turn three. He's all over him. Look, Jagtex is really struggling. Picks up a oh. penalty as well. That's going to drop him away. He squeezes him to the grass. Blizzard's not going to make the move for the lead once again. And goes through to take the lead of the Austrian Grand Prix. Jagtex tries to come back at him, though, up the inside. He comes straight back at him. Blizzard leaves the space. So they get away with that just about. It's extremely wet out there now. You can see the, the spray coming off of the tires now offline. And Jack, he's going for it again. He's not giving this up at all. This is really going to hinder Blizzard because Rafa's coming. He squeezes him off. Jack attacks and Blizzard are side by side as they run up towards turn six. But Blizzard is somehow still ahead as they run through these corners. Jack attacks is not giving this up without a fight. He's trying to come back around the outside. Not going to be able to make it work. Rafa's now up the inside. There's contact made. Oh, that almost ended in tears. What? And look who's coming. Lewis, Lewis. is there. On at the supers. Which is not usually that good in the wet, but this could be key because it won't start to die pretty oh, soon. Oh, Tex! Hey, Tex! He's in the wall! Oh, he's Rafa! He's been asked was... damage to his front wing. And Lewis is about to take is about to overtake Rafa for second place down the main straight. Takes it away from the Renault. Try uh, Rafa's trying to hold on though on the outside line. He's got to be careful. Oh, it's getting very wet now. And it is Onyx getting is, wet, DOS disabled. Onyx has made the perfect choice right there. He's come in right on and time. And Samster. And, Je and Samster too. Onyx came in but at the Onyx perfect definitely. time there for the intermediates. And he is the first driver on the intermediate sector too. Blizzard's guide. Blizzard's, almost, Blizzard's been in the wall and Rafa's overtaken him. Lewis is in the lead. <laughs> and the kick... Five seconds or go, Lakitu, for speeding in the pit line, but the race has turned on its head. Lewis was leading, and now he's in third. Lewis yeah. is in the lead right now. This is insane. But potentially, oh, Onyx but could be in the net Onyx lead. Onyx is in the driving if... seat here, for the one for better pun. Yeah. He's what? He's, he's about 20 seconds behind the leaders. And these guys are struggling around to the pit lane right now. Hmm. Onyx Masterclass inbound? If it stays like this, Jack, this could go to Brazil. If it stays like this, yeah. there's Blizzard and Rafa going in the pits. So Ooh. is Lewis. Rafa almost binned it in the pits, as he said that. Sam was trying to get into the pit lane, but I think he missed. Yep. Oh, Lee's around. He's struggling. It is. It, 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 you can see the dampness in the track already. If these guys Lewis are not pitting now, out. then... This is going to be tight on the exit. Onyx has brought himself into this. Look at, look at Onyx. He's, oh, he's into P2. Lewis is coming through oh. the first corner. Can Onyx take the lead of this race? Lewis is going to be no. in the lead, but Onyx is second. What a masterclass from Onyx if I see one. Sorry to set up, but Blizzard has jumped Rafa in the pits as well. So he's come out ahead, but Onyx masterclass strategy. 
that that's I haven't seen him race much in prestige tier this season and to come back and to see him doing well in Austria is just insane. So and he could potentially catch up oh, to Sam. Sam is and, dead. Oh Sam's binned it. Yeah, Sam's he's be, binned it. He's, he's gotta be careful not to come out. He's in front on of... supers. Yeah, yep, he, he it tried is. To, he tried to come into the pit lane and couldn't turn the car and missed. So He's been on those supers for 10 laps though, so it is starting to die as well, and the wet, that is just very tricky to get across, and Onyx could be on the line to overtake Lewis soon, if he try and catches up, but Lewis yeah. is starting to form his ties as well, so it, it's going to be absolutely intense. Yeah, now, just to update you, as it stands, the championship will go to Brazil, if it finishes like this. Um, yeah. Rafa's just doing enough right now to keep himself up, but he do, but if he loses another position, then Blizzard uh, will win the title. Samu's now dead. Anyway. Yeah. Now, a lot of deaths already in Austria. Now we, we don't want see... any more deaths, please. No. We did see in uh, Belgium we had the same conditions, and then it dried up towards the end of the race. Now I, I for one, would love to see those conditions again. Yeah, same. Um, that would that will play well in everyone's hands. And, and Rafa can't lose any positions really, because if Rafa if Rafa wins, there's a bet in one hub between him and Nick um, about getting a Silverstone tickets or something like that. So I, I believe that's why so, he's yeah. been practicing so hard. If I, and if, he is yeah. pushing. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, I believe that's the bet. If Nick, Nick can correct me if I'm wrong. But, um, he's in the chat at the moment, so... Yeah. But um, we'll see how it goes. Currently, he's doing enough to keep <laughs> it to Brazil. Uh, well, I said, why am I saying Brazil? It's Silverstone. <laughs> it's the championship Silverstone. end. Silverstone! Uh, I'm just so used to hearing <laughs> Brazil. Um, I think Nick might be about yeah, to correct about me. Yeah, about that bet. <laughs> <laughs> Nick! It appears Nick has run out of money. That's probably why. <laughs> yes. Well, you promised him. Yeah, no. well, anyway, anyway, Lewis is uh, building the gap out front. Onyx is falling away. Blizzard is catching him. So. Maybe this... Onyx did push a bit more than he thought, and Blizzard was trying to conserve, which is what he was trying to do. Was another penalty then for Amir, who is down in seventh, so. Yeah, well. Back up. I'm sure will... into P7. I will say, Lewis is pulling away because he's on a big push he's trying to build as big a gap as he possibly can I would reckon he's trying to build a three second gap Onyx isn't really pushing he's conserving his uh, his tires at the moment and conserving his um, conserving his ERS oh, Jay. it's gone from bad to worse Another... isn't it yep he was having a good race last week but he's not having a good race this week six seconds worth of penalties but the gap between him and um, Amir is uh, a bit too close for comfort at the moment, so it is gonna. It, it, he's all right at the moment, to stay safe. But if Amir closes in, then it probably will be a different story. As uh, Lewis is on fire, he's already pulling up a 1.8 second gap to Onyx in the force in Onyx is the McLaren. Of course, Blizzard almost making a mistake there. Yeah, I'm just changing it. Just, just to point out the position change, Lewis is up 14 positions from where he started, which is pretty wow. much last, and he's now out in the lead, thanks to the first lap carnage. Got through the first lap carnage and then managed to make grits, uh, managed to get on the inters at the right time. Onyx made a masterclass strategy call, and um, Blizzard and Rafa have just kind of stayed there. I think Lewis, I think, held up Rafa in the pit lane, which is. I believe ah. why Rafa has come out behind Blizzard, because you want Rafa was ahead of Blizzard going into the pit lane. So that was... happened last week as well. Rafa got holed up in the pit lane, which costed him the challenge for Blizz for the win for Blizzard, really. So. Yeah. And Blizzard starting to challenge Onyx now. We know if he gets past and he stays there, that's the championship. So it's a crucial move. And he is coming. He's got 85% worth of his ERS to use. He's coming up towards turn three. Onyx is defending. Switches to the inside. Classic Blizzard move up the inside there. Can he get stopped before the breaking zone? Onyx is fighting him hard on the outside. There's going to be contact made. Ooh. Oh, well, Onyx is dead. Rafa's dead. Rafa's dead. 
His nose is gone. His nose is broke. And surely the championship's gone. That. I'm sure the championship is done. It has to be Let now. Let me just go back to the to that point of the stream just to see what happened. Oh, I think Onyx made a mistake which leads Rafa nowhere to go by the looks of things. As oh, as oh, on on. Lizzo was trying to defend, and Onyx had no space, and Raffle was trying to come up him, and that, that happened. So, Onyx and Raffle have to go into the pits then. The, dra oh, the, my the dream is over, I'm afraid, my friends. Raffle yeah, is out. We were hoping. But he, well, he's not out. We were hoping but it would go. It's we not going to happen. Yeah. By the way, that's put Samster to P3. <laughs> wow. So the, and the, Jake uh, could be back in this as well. He kind of is, actually. He's back to P4. Actually, penalties, I don't... Actually, no. It could be, as long as he... You know. I have a feeling that that incident might go to the stewards afterwards. Oh, I'm almost certain that it's going to go to the stewards. If it doesn't, I'll be surprised. But Rafa and Onyx, they don't have to pit again. They're oh, Due to that incident, they're on their... Well, Rafa's on a second stop. And I think uh, Onyx is too, so... Yeah, it's yeah the, Rafa won't not... have to pit. So that in that in that sense, they're not totally out of it, um, no. Because the top guys have got to stop again. Um, it's part of the rule now. Rafa needs to make the move past Amir immediately, and uh, doesn't work out. So I think there's red mist sending now. I think, um, and I think, I wonder is that a little bit of karma? Onyx is stuck in the pit lane. Oh no, really? Yep. <sighs> Game. But um That's... Yeah. Luckily Luckily his teammate is out because otherwise if he had to pit again, that would have cost him dearly as well. I also think so... my wish is coming true. But not for Rafa. Because it stopped raining. Oh my, is it, is it is Belgium all over again? It is, because Jake Tex bolted on a set of soft tyres. Jake Tex has got that right. Oh, Rafa, and... it's just gone from bad to worse from him, hasn't it? He's got to stop again for, for, for dries. DIS enabled, that proves it then. This is, this is Belgium all over again. Oh, this is great. This is great for oh. viewing pleasure. Liz, uh, Louis, Louis needs to pit now. He's seen the DRS enable. This comes at a perfect time. Yeah, he's. Is he gonna go in or? Yeah, yeah. surely. It's he's almost got to. certain. Blizzard has to too. Blizzard in. Yeah, Sam's just gonna come in. Pretty much everyone is going in. What tires will they go in for, though? Like? That is the question. I would imagine probably super softs. Well, uh, can they bring them 20 laps? No, soft tires for Blizzard. Yeah, they're going off the soft tires. Going to be going to the end. Yeah, so. Samster is. Yeah, Sa Samster's going for supers. But... No, nope, he's on softs. Oh, he's on softs. Okay, game screwing me over. As I think Ollie and Rafa still yet to pit as they go into the pits. Now, yes, they are. Yeah. So if if Rafa if that had happened a lap later, Rafa would have been on the dries and back in it, but. I think the dream's over, unless something happens up front. Yeah, it, I, I think all it would take is for Blizzard to make a a bottom a mistake and to, to have Rafa still in his fight. But yeah, so at the way it stands, Blizzard is going to win the title with one race to provisionally. go. Provisionally. Provisionally, going to win the title, yes, unless the results get changed around or whatever. But, um, it could... now, just need Rafa's going to immediately make a move on Ollie. And he's done the exact same thing he did in the wet. He tries to get past him there, but Ollie with the cutback. I think Rafa's possibly a little bit angry at this point. Yeah. So, you're going to see that in his driving style right now. Trying to come around the outside of Ollie. And is he going to make that work? Not quite. No. So he in seventh for now. He needs to start. Oh, Blizzard getting a penalty, and the oh. key two has spun. The key two, yeah. So, so Blizzard has got so, a penalty. Well, 
He's, he's about Sam's four. just got one as well. Samster has got one too, and Lewis does not have one. So, Lewis is in complete control at this point. Please don't bottle it, Lewis. I, I pray you. Yeah, now let me just um, check the uh, permutations. So, at this point, for the title to continue... He would... Rafa he'd... would need to finish to go into fourth place. Yes. Um, and... If he were to stay where he is right now, he would need Blizzard to be in fourth, as far as I'm aware. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that is the case, so... Yeah. So all it takes is for any one of the leaders to make a mistake and Rafa could be back in it. Yep. Yeah. Oh, anything can happen and it very much usually does. Probably will. Yeah, it, if there's any incidents that happen, any changing incidents, it always happens towards the final lap. Yep. Yeah. And looks like Onyx is out of the race now. He's still in the pits and, he, and there's no way that... His crew's gone. His yeah, crew's gone. Them. They've given up on him. They've given up on life. The McLaren guys are have left the left Austria. They're they're frustrated. They don't like life, and they've gone. Yeah. Um. I was just checking there. Um. Yeah. So Rafa needs to be fourth, but currently the gap to fourth is about 18 seconds. So basically, he needs Jegtech to make a mistake, and he's coming up the inside of Ollie now. They're having a big old battle down here. This time Rafa doesn't say make the same mistake he did before and gets through to P6. So right now he needs he needs Blizzard to drop a position and if yeah. Jake Atex keeps getting penalty could play into his hands. Because yeah it he... could be because Rafa could gain I'll, I'll just check how many penalties Amir got because that could be Game changing because Amir has got. I think two. Well, Jake has got another uh, one. one. Yeah, pen he's, Amir's got one penalty. Rafa uh, has got none. But yeah. he's on a cut of a penalty because he's got three warnings. And Amir's got another one, so that's six. So six, so six seconds, and Jake has got 12 seconds of penalties. So, so Rafa so could still be in this. He's got to catch Amir Only and pass just. him, though. Yeah. Which right now, Amir seems to have the measure of him. He doesn't seem to be catching him. And, I uh, think ah, the championship ah, will be decided. Oh! Ah. Lewis has got a penalty. Right, so Lewis has got a penalty as well. So it is even Stevens. So now Blizzard now knows that he can push on and see if he can catch Lewis. Because he knows if he's if he wins, he's guaranteed the title. Whatever how if he finishes second, anything can happen behind him, which could uh, keep the title to Silverstone. But we'll we'll wait and yeah. see. There's still about 13 laps to run, so we'll wait and see what can happen. But currently, Samster on for a podium, which would be a great result for him. Uh, he has a bad lot this season, really. So it will be nice to see him up there. For Ferrari. Ferrari yeah. haven't had the best results in this tier, to be fair. Yeah, no, it hasn't really gone well for them. It's only been... Samster's really been the, the only Ferrari I've seen. Yeah. Um, so now Rafa try, now catching... Catching Amir a little bit. And he knows he needs to catch him. Because he has a slim chance of keeping... The title going to Silverstone if he passes alive. him. But right now, it's looking a bit unlikely unless Blizzard makes a mistake up front. Yeah, Blizzard's now four seconds behind Lewis now. It is fourth position due to low penalties. And... Well, you can't deserve it all. Sam has got a penalty as well. So pretty that's much everyone's got one. a penalty apart that's... from Rafa. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's, that's spot on. But he is on two warnings, as I said. So any small error. Three, well, three warnings. He's got one. He literally needs to. He needs to be careful. Fast lap. And he's got fast as lap. He's pushing. Yeah, he's he got no. He, he's using all of his ERS. He's trying to catch him here and pass him because I think he knows he's got a slim chance at this if he manages to pull 
If if Jake Tex gets uh, another two penalties, he's kind of in it. Now, keep an eye. Lee is off into Narnia at the last corner. Now, he's gone think... into the wardrobe. I think... And his fat wing is taken in. Yeah. I think what Rafa really needs now is a safety car. Yeah. That's the only thing that can save him now. Or, the, or if Lewis and Blizzard battle too hard and take each other out. Which could which, happen, because Blizzard could is happen. captured to Lewis. Because these guys are fierce Three rivals, points, exactly. Lewis and Blizzard. Um, they are. Uh, and I've Blizzard, seen them race in other leagues. Yeah. And they battle quite hard. But Blizzard is definitely on the push. He's brought the gap to 3.6 seconds. And Raf has brought the gap between himself and Amir down to four tenths of a second, but he's got absolutely zero ERS. So he's really been on the push. The keep has got another penalty. Amir's run wide and got himself another one. So Rafa is surely going to make a move here shortly. He's got to. Because otherwise he could lose even more time. Yeah. So Amir is 20, nearly 20 seconds behind Jagatex. And now the gap between Blizzard and Lewis continues to decrease. So right now, if Lewis picks up another, another penalty, Blizzard Danger Lee oh, is Lee's now out. Oh, Lee's out! Oh, oh, don't what is... see what happened, because no, obviously he's, no, he's retired. In he's retired pit. in the pits. He retired in the pits. Ah. He's lost, he, he, he binned it in the pit lane, he lost his front wing, and yeah, he's just gone. No. He binned it earlier. Yeah. And then he, had, and then he gave up, and he couldn't... Yeah, that was it. So yep. we're now down to 10, 9 drivers now. So any driver that finishes now, they're getting the points. Technically, we're down we have to deja eight. vu. We have deja vu from the last two races, I've got to say. Um, technically, we're down to 8 drivers, because Onyx isn't technically driving. No, so... we're down... Oh. Yeah, we're, we're, there's 8 drivers. Yeah. 8 Rafa drivers. Trying to make the move. He's trying to get the cut back. Amir defends, as he's entitled to do, because this is a battle for position. So, Amir now going to defend the inside, I reckon. Raf is going to have to go around the outside of this next corner. Lay on the brakes for the German. Try and get the cutback. Textbook stuff. It, can, it, can he get it past? He oh. can, indeed. And Amir, not able. He's trying to come dive bomb off the inside. Rafa sees him coming, leaves him the space. Rafa now needs to get a move on, but Amir's keeping him honest and, keep, and sticking with him for now. He needs Jacobtex to get more penalties. Yeah. And Amir, I think he... I think I, there's no point Amir challenging Rafa now because he knows he's, Rafa's going to be ahead anyway due to Rafa having no penalties. So you just got to concentrate on keeping it steady for the last 10 laps and keep it clean. Yeah, there's only 10 laps to I go, will of course. Check with, yeah, I will check Jacobtex, though. Because he, he's on, I think he's on one warning so far. So he is much cleaner than I have seen most of this race anyway. So as long as he does the same for the last 10 laps, then yeah, it could be all over for Rafa. But you never know. So if we see the, if we, at the end of this race, if we see Rafa's name move into fourth place, then the championship battle continues. If he doesn't, then Blizzard is the champion. Um, so we'll wait and see. And he's closing that gap to Lewis again. So this is shaping up to be a last, kind of, last three lap battle. It's going to be interesting. Between the two of them. Um, I'm, ex I'm excited. It is going to be, it is starting to brighten up as well. So it's going to get really hard on those tyres as well. Yep. So of course they've all made two stops. So there's no need for extra strategy here, thanks to the conditions. So Blizzard continues to bring that gap down 2.4 seconds now. And Lakitu with another penalty. And Amir still sticking to the back of, Lake of uh, Rafa. And he's not really closing on Jagatex. Jagatex is actually closing on Samster. Um, wow. Now, of course, he's got so Samson. many penalties. Then Samster's going to remain there. can still there. get a podium. This will yeah, be that, this will be incredible. This will be his best finish of the season, I believe. 
It will be, yeah. He hasn't yet got a podium. But Jektex is closing rapidly on him. He's pushing hard. Gapped up front, 2.1. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I, we're going to have a spicy battle here, I think. We could, actually, which will be intense. It sounds like a bit of a safe going into turn three, but he kept it together. He's not going to wipe. I think Jagatex is pushing as well, so we're pretty much going towards the end of this Grand Prix, and not much changes, but Amir is still holding close to Rafa. Oli getting the time three second time healthy there. Again, so that not going to affect him anyway because they're pretty much last of the finishes at the moment. Yeah, gap up front 1.8. And it's wow. not like it's not like Blizzard using more ERS. He's actually got more ERS than Lewis. So um interesting stuff between the two of them. As Jake takes now. Now same tire life as well. Yeah, Jake Tech's now within a second of Samster. Not quite going to have DRS this time, I don't think. Oh, he does. I think he had a DRS failure, though, because his DRS isn't opening. Yeah. So, I think Blizzard has dropped back once again to conserve some ERS, save it up, and go on another attack, because the gap is 2.4 now. And it's oh, all Oh, no, over. Rafa! And it's done. It all yep. hinged on that, whether Rafa got himself a penalty, and really, that's done it. That's, that's cost him dearly. I didn't see... I think it must have been turn three, maybe. Possibly. Not too not too certain, but Blizzard now on we another can't, we push. Can't. Yeah. But he is pushing less, knowing that... Ra Actually, no, he won't know about Rafa's penalty, because he only gets information about the good stiff. Uh, that's unless old Ems is is telling him because they're usually in a party together. Oh yes, good point. So old Ems could come into play here. But Blizzard still wants to win. He, yeah, he, he does. He's competitive. Of course, he wants to win, and he wants to beat Lewis. Who <laughs> is one of the quickest guys on this game. Jacotex now trying to make the move on Samster. Samster, I think, shouldn't fight this too much because he's actually got it in the bag. Don't know if he knows that or not, but he's defending for his life as Jacotex tries to come around the outside. Now, around the outside at turn four. Going to make this work. Samster gives him the squeeze to the grass, and Samster holds on for now. Oh, you can see how much he wants this. That will be his first podium in one hub this season because obviously he's had bad luck. He's had... Pretty much more DNFs than I can count. So, and he loves this track. So, that would really put momentum going into the last race in Silverstone. Yeah. We've only got uh, five laps left to go. The gap between the top two is kind of going back and forth. But Blizzard is being tactical. He's not using his ERS. He's... He's saving that this up for a massive attack. You can see he's almost got 100% ERS. He's ready to unleash it. Anyway, Jake attacks on Samster. Does contact made up towards turn three? Samster's going to hold that one. I think he's defending very nicely. Jake attacks with the cutback now. Can he get the traction? He's got the DRS. He's already alongside. Samster's got to give him the room. Squeezes him to the inside. Jake attacks now. Going to come to the inside line for turn four. And he should be able to get that on the brakes. And he does. And Samster... Not sure if he knows it or not, but... Jagatex has about four penalties. And he's having a little think about going around the outside. Not going to be able to do it there. Now with the cutback, though, is there going to be contact? There is contact. Just a little nip. Not too much. No, and not much for lift from either of them, I think. Now, it's going to go down for a while, I think. And Sam's going to go again. Yeah, he's thinking about coming again. And I can tell you what else is going to go to the wire. The, the battle for the lead. Because the battle. Oh, 1.4! 1. 1. Blizzard is 4 tenths from DRS! He is indeed. Now, Samster is way closer than 4 tenths from DRS. Jake Tex has another penalty, which brings it to 15 seconds of penalties. So, Samster's got this easily, but he's going to have a goal and get it on track anyway for the honor's sake. Around the outside of turn 3. <coughs> With the cutback, he's on the outside line. Jake Tex is going to defend that one, and Jake Tex also has DRS. Not much Samster can do about that. Nope. 
He How knows that. Ooh. Ooh. However, he knows the J has got nothing to play for due to the penalty, so he knows he'll have P3 in the bag anyway. So that's why he's not pushing that hard. But he wants to get on track, surely. I know this is a bit of a push, but if Samster and Jake had continued to battle, and that gap comes down to 12 seconds between himself and Rafa, then Rafa's still in this. <laughs> I'm just making yes. up scenarios now, but that's not going to happen. But I mean, because Samster's dropping it back. It could already. happen. Don't count the chickens before they hatch. Uh... Oh, Blizzard, no. Oh, <sighs> well, that's not going to affect him anyway. J Tech's got so many penalties, but his chance of the win is pretty much over. Uh, oh, I, just saw, oh, I, saw... I, I saw a couple of penalties come in there. I saw Samster getting one, and I saw somebody else getting one. I'm not sure who it was. Ooh, Probably who again. was it? I'm not, I'm not sure. Uh, Didn't see. I will. I will check the stream. It went by so fast I couldn't actually see. Yeah, it did. It did. Was it? I. F so I was saw people going through turn three. I don't know. I can't even check on the stream either. I think it might be Lakitu. No, it was JTAX again. So JTAX again. So that's 18 yeah. seconds. Rafa's not R out of this. Rafa could still be in this. <laughs> Rafa's not actually out of this yet. No, he's hmm. not. If these guys can, if these guys get one more penalty, then Rafa's back. Rafa, Just one more. The Rafa attack. Because if it, yeah, because he'll have a he'll have a a, a gap of he'll have a benefit of three seconds. The gap up front, by the way, one point two. Blizzard still wants this win. Even on track. Yeah. So Lewis he... doesn't have any of the penalties either. He just has the one penalty. I believe. Oh, uh, I think. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, is Lewis on any warnings? And... He's on two. Oh, he's on the last warning. Hmm. Right, so this battle might still turn out to be interesting. Samster and Jacotex are still fighting, by the way. And the gap between the top two is just hovering. And 1.2, 1.3, Lakitu now with a 5 second stop going spinning in the pit line. He's going to go for fast lap at this point if he's coming in this late. Yeah. We're, we're waiting and seeing if Jake Tex picks up one more penalty, then the championship's actually going to go to Silverstone. Oh, this is going to be buzzing if that happens. Gap up front, 1.1. Now just hovering out a second, not quite DRS. Two laps left to run, all if penalties weren't involved here. Yeah, it is going to be decided on penalties, for sure. Yep. And so Blizzard, uh, Blizzard still wants to take this on track, but Lewis, I mean, you cannot take this performance off me. He's come from the back of the grid to leading this race, for the most part. So Drive of the day, right there. Oh, for sure. Samster and Jake Tech still battling. Now Samster already has this podium. I don't think he. I think he just wants it on track. Like he to another penalty. Yeah, now, that's puts him to so many penalties, which I can't count right now, even if I look at it. So there's no point in me looking. It's phenomenal lap. Yeah, so, about, to start, about to start the last lap, and now we're going to be seeing if a champion is going to be crowned and prestiged here for season 13. Because it all hinges on the penalties in foot in third and fourth, really. Yep. Lewis begins the final lap here in Austria. Blizzard follows. He's on course to take the title in prestige tier. But we will wait and see. Jacob Hex and Samster still fighting it out in third and fourth. It's all going to hinge is, this on this. This is getting gut wrenching for in particular the top five. Rafa. Needs to get the foot down if he wants to keep his hopes alive, which is looking likely. Yeah, it's it is. Look it, he, it's looking likely he'll go to Silverstone now if the West State says it is. Yeah, well, at the moment, we... Blizzard's going to be our champion as we scr as we uh, come through the last sequence of corners. 18 points is the gap as we came into this round. It's going to be uh, over 25 as we leave. But anyway, I think Lewis is unfortunately going to have his thunder stolen a little bit because he's you cannot take away the fact that he's drove an absolutely sublime race today. Lewis comes to the last corner. He's going to win in Prestige Tier. Blizzard, we're going to wait and see. He's potentially the champion of Prestige Tier Season 13. We're going to wait and see. Is there any penalties going to be picked up here? Lakitu's got one. Jagatex comes to the last corner. I don't think so. 
We're gonna wait and oh, see. Oh, a bit of a mistake for Rafa, but I watched Jake, Rafa as he. Samster gets the podium, and I think. Samster. Oh, it could be. It could be close as Rafa's got the final few corners. All oh, hopes rest on Rafa's shoulders here. I think it's all over. He's got. To... It could be. Oh. All oh, right. It's DNS. So we have a new champion. Brit Blizzard is your season 13 prestige champion. But I'm sure Rafa will get get that DNF removed. That boy still be a P6 any uh, P5 anyway. Yeah, I don't think so. He crashed before the line. Did he? I can't, I can't believe he did that. He didn't finish. That's why I was like that. He didn't finish. Wow. So he's, classi he's classified as a DNF. Rafa's done. Blizzard is the champion of Prestige Tier Season 13. Well done to him. Thoroughly deserved this season. Yeah. And Lewis, absolutely sublime drive. Well done to him. And Samster, fantastic job. Well done on the podium. Yeah. His first um, podium in one hub. And, uh, and Lewis's first win in one hub as well. In his um, rookie season? Is it his rookie season? It is not. He was here last season too. Oh, so... Ah, right. So if I have to give Drive the Day, I would have to, first of all, I would have to give it to Lewis for that superb win. From last to first, that is just amazing. Yeah, 15th to first. And you can see there, I wasn't joking, Rafa DNF. Wow, um, yeah. So technically we've only had six finishers in this race. Um, Lewis P1, Blizzard is the champion. And Samster, I mean, gotta love the guy for getting third. Uh, Jagatex somehow still managed fourth with the 18 seconds of penalties. Ollie came through to P5. Amir is the last of the classified finishers. Rafa, the dream is done. He is DNF. DNF. Lee DNF. And Onyx, I wonder, what is he, was he the catalyst for all that disaster? I wonder, who is your driver today? Oh, I'm gonna. Uh, did you give it to Lewis? Yes, I gave it to Lewis. Yeah. All right, mine's gonna go to go to. Oh, it's between Blizzard and Samster. I'm not sure who to give it to. Because Blizzard, Blizzard still drove brilliantly. But for yeah. The, but for the simple fact that Samster managed to grab a podium in the Ferrari, I'm gonna give it to Samster. So Samster is my driver of the day. I think I couldn't agree more with that. Two very well deserving driver of the days. Sam's with his first podium, Lewis with his first win. Mm, I did and Blizzard Crown champion. So it's a double champion for, for him. Then he got the constructors with Red Bull and he got the drivers with in Prestige. So couldn't ask for anything better for him. Yep, but Rafa and... did keep him fighting. So Rafa will be hungrier next season to challenge with Blizzard potentially for a title again. Unfortunately, the trip to Silverstone's not happening. That that bet is done. But um, I did forget to mention at the start of the um, at the start of the the stream. Um, just want to thank you all for we've just broken three hundred subscribers. I've just noticed nice. that on the channel, so we've broken that. So, well done to you all. Thanks a lot. And um, Champions don't forget to crowned. check our sponsors as well. Yeah. Next level racing. We forgot to mention that. We're super sorry. <laughs> Yeah, we kind of. Yeah, we very much do forget to do that. But um, yeah. yeah. Um, thank you all so much for watching. Champion is crowned in prestige tier, and we will see you next time, next week, for the very last round on F1 2018. It's the British Grand Prix live from Silverstone. We hope to see you then. We'll see you next week. Thank you, and good night.